Good evening. You're watching The Right Stand with me, Poonam Burde. Mukhtar Ansari, a career criminal turned politician, died of a cardiac arrest late last night. He was lodged in the Banda jail in Uttar Pradesh. His autopsy has been conducted. His mortal remains have been given to the family. The details of the post-mortem report will be key because Mukhtar Ansari's family has been accusing jail officials of slowly poisoning him. They believe that's what causes death. Some within the opposition ranks echoed that sentiment as well. They called for an independent inquiry. Sure, there should be an investigation if something seems amiss. But is there a need to jump to conclusions and target the state government even before the complete truth is out? Also, is the opposition falling prey to a narrative the family is trying to whip up? A family that has had its brush with the law of its own. Are they just trying to use this as a rallying point for their own political gains? That's what many are asking as well. I say that because it's no secret that Mukhtar Ansari has enjoyed political patronage that ensured that even though the first murder case that was registered against him was when he was 25, Ansari was only convicted when he was 61. For four decades, he unleashed a reign of terrifying crimes with impunity. So yes, while no one's death should be celebrated, are we really going to celebrate the life of such a man? Now, the death of Mukhtar Ansari has to be looked at from the prism of two families. One is of his own, that is crying foul. The other is that of the man he killed. Former BJP MLA Krishnanand Rai, who was killed in 2005 by Mukhtar Ansari, his family visited the temple today. <coughs> Excuse me. They said this was a blessing of the Almighty. On the other hand, Ansari and his family alleged that uh, Mukhtar Ansari, in fact, was poisoned inside the Bangladesh. <coughs> Krishnanand Rai's family reiterated that Ansari was no saint. The former MLA's murder was not the only crime he was accused of. The deceased gangster's family demanded that the autopsy be conducted by Ames and not in Banda. Justice has been served, says Krishnanand Rai's family. Mukhtar Ansari's family, though, welcomed the judicial inquiry that was ordered in his death. Mukhtar Ansari's family's allegations haven't just come today. They have been raising doubts over his safety in jail for the last 10 days now. In fact, when Ansari was in jail in Punjab before he was transferred to Uttar Pradesh, there too he had claimed that there was a conspiracy to get him. Let's take a look at the chronology and the timeline of how all this went through. On the 19th of March, which is 10 days ago, Mukhtar Ansari's son alleged that the poison was given to him. The next day, Ansari's lawyer made claims of this poison. <coughs> On the 25th of March, Ansari's condition turns bad. On the 26th, Mukhtar Ansari complained of abdominal pain as well. He was rushed to the hospital. There, the doctor said it was nothing serious. He was taken back to prison. On 27th of March, Ansari's family alleged that there was a conspiracy to kill him. 28th of March is when Ansari was rushed to the hospital. Unfortunately, that's where he died of the cardiac arrest. Taking from the allegations of the Ansari clan, opposition leaders were quick to blame the Yogi government of not ensuring the former Don's safety in jail. Here's what some of them said. Uttar Pradesh is going through the worst phase of government anarchy is what a former chief minister of the state and the chief of the Samajwadi party, Akhilesh Yadav, said. Asuddin Ovesi then came out and said that we need an independent investigation into the slow poisoning charge. Ansari's family's persistent charges must be probed, said Mayavati, again a former chief minister of Uttar Pradesh and the chief of the BSP. The death inside jail premises raises a big question on the state government, is what a Congress leader from the state also asked. Now, the opposition raises doubts over the conduct of the police and the state government. But there is an investigation that will now take place. In fact, we do know that in the aftermath, in just the last 24 hours, the court has ordered a judicial inquiry into Mukhtar Ansari's death. A three-member team has been formed to probe the death and the circumstances that led to it. Garima Singh, the additional uh, Chief Judicial Magistrate, has been appointed as the investigating officer of this particular probe. The CJM has sought a probe report within the next month, so a deadline has also been set to ascertain what exactly transpired. Now, last week, Banda Prison jailer and three officers were suspended. There is context for this. Why were they suspended? There were allegations of misconduct on their part. Whether it was linked to the allegations the family made, all of that has to be investigated. They were suspended for alleged negligence of duty. Remember, it was last week when these letters were written by Ansari's lawyers and Ansari's family claimed that there was slow poisoning that was taking place and it would eventually affect his life. So was the suspension linked to that? That is something also that will have to be probed. But while we ask all of these questions, both of the state government and the opposition, 
is there a bid to fuel this fire is there a bid to try and gain political mileage out of this especially in election season that's the question we asked tonight हमने तो लिख कर दिया है कि दिल्ली एम्स के डॉक्टरों से कराया जाए हमें यहाँ की चिकित्सा प्रणाली और शासन प्रशासन पर विश्वास नहीं है आप लोग को सब पता है कि क्यों मैं ऐसा कह रहा हूँ बाबा के आशीर्वाद है जाए आज मैं हमेशा बाबा के दरबार में न्याय के लिए करती थी आज न्याय मिला है हमको तो मैं ये चाहूँगा कि इसकी एक सही तरीके से इंडिपेंडेंट इंक्वायरी हो अगर जेल में किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसकी जिम्मेदारी प्रशासनिक अधिकारी जेल से लेकर के सरकार से लेकर सबकी जिम्मेदारी है अभी पोस्टमार्टम हो रहा है जैसी जानकारी टीवी में टीवी पे चल रही है तो जानकारी मिल रही है उस पर भी वो भी साफ हो जाएगा लगा देता है और एक वोट कावड़ यात्रा ही निकल